Should be right where the where they're, they're all usually both at. On, on. Yeah, yeah. Both on the left. All right, guys, we're down here at the uh, main area, the yard. Oh, wrong one. And we are getting ready to hook up. So, in case any of you don't know, you look at the uh, coupler here, and you hold it on the left button. And I kind of drag it up and uh, drag it up and it'll add a link and then right click and down puts a pin in it and then you come back here to your fancy Betsy give her a little bit of juice off the regulator release the brake and she's going back up a little bit slow and when you first buy cars the brakes are usually set so when you bump them they don't take off rolling and then we're going to leave the regulator, but now we're going to th throttle the uh, brake a little bit just to keep her. Uh -oh. oh, and then you hear that clunk when I put that other pin in, we're hooked up. So we're going to go ahead and back up some more and get to the next one. And we're going to leave the brakes just a hair bit on these cars. We getting close. All right. Come on back. Whoa. And there and there is that one hooked up. Yeah, it's a little bit smoother on my end. All right. Yeah. We've got that. Um, I'm going to grab some quick firewood. you got to look up in the air and click it. Then you'll magically see a piece in your hand. Throw it in there. And this is your reverser. So all the way back is backwards. We want that forward. Release the brake. And the train starts moving. And if you pull the regulator back... That, that's kind of like your uh, fuel pedal in your car. So then it'll start going. Then once you start getting some speed going, throttle that back down. I usually run around 10%. And Grizzly's riding back there in what kind of looks like a cattle car. How <laughs> But guys, that's how you uh, hook up cars. And once we get a different engine, we'll show you some more on the other engines. But until then, we'll see you guys next time.